In this lesson, we're gonna look at the functionality and usage of resource locks. Now we had the idea of role-based access control where I give certain permissions to resources, but sometimes I wanna add in just an additional step to make sure something doesn't happen accidentally. So a resource lock is something I can apply at various levels. We have that idea of, remember the subscription, of the resource group, and then the resource itself. So I can apply this idea of a resource lock at any of those levels. And once again, it's inherited down. So if I lock the subscription, well, it's gonna lock the resource groups and the resources within it as well. Now this resource lock is of one of two types. I have the idea of can not delete, i.e. I can modify it, but I can't delete it. Or I can assign it as read only. So once again, I can't delete it, nor can I modify it. Remember though, the idea of Azure is we think about the Azure Resource Manager. And the Azure Resource Manager is really the control plane. I am interacting with the objects. Resource locks, either one of these, apply at that level. It's applying at the ARM level, which means it's the control plane. The data plane, that sits underneath this that varies by the type of resource is not affected by a resource lock. For example, if this was a, a database, I could still perform CRUD operations, create, um, replace, update, delete operations against it. If it was blob, I could still delete blobs. For example, I could modify them. I'm locking the Azure resource at the control plane, but I'm not doing anything at the data plane. So I can still interact with the data completely unaffected. So the point of this is it's an additional step I would have to perform if I wanted to modify it. I'd have to take off, for example, the read only or delete it. I'd have to take off if either one of those applied. To be able to modify that, well, I have to have that administrator capability. So I have to be the owner. So to apply a resource lock, I have to be the owner of whatever scope I am applying or deleting the resource lock from. The other thing you can do is if you are the user access administrator, you are not going to see that very often. That's a special role that global admins can, of the Azure AD can elevate themselves up to. If for some reason some subscription has been lost access, I can elevate up to get total control of anything under that Azure AD tenant. So really it's based around the idea of the owner, they can add and remove resource locks. And I can remove it, but it's something I would have to go and do. I couldn't accidentally now delete a storage account. I'd have to go, oh, it's locked. I'd have to go and delete the lock then I could go and delete the storage account or the resource group or the subscription or anything else. And we can just see those. So if we go over, if I looked at my subscription actually, at the subscription level, I can go through and I can see down here, all of the resource locks in the subscription. So right now I can see, I do have two resource locks. Both of them are stopping me deleting one of them is applied to a storage account. One of them is applied to a resource group. So I've got those in place, but I could add one at the subscription level and I can pick, well, which one am I doing? Is it read only, i.e. I'm doing that actual read only setting or is it, hey, you can't delete it. So it's the cannot delete. So I pick the type of lock I want and I would put that in place because I'm the owner I can do that. And then because I'm the owner, well, I can delete it as well. 
but it would be that step I would have to perform. And again, it gets inherited down. So in this case, hey, this one at the resource group, I would have to actually, anything within the resource group would have it applied as well. So here on the resource group, I can see, yes, it has that lock. It does have a resource inside it. If I look at the storage account, if we go and look at locks, you can see it has it, but it's telling me, hey, look, this is a parent resource lock. I can't change it here. So that kind of shows the idea that it gets inherited down. So what I couldn't do would be delete this storage account, but I could still go and delete blobs within it or tables or anything else I wanted to do. But if I actually try to delete this, I can't. The resource is locked. You have to go and delete that resource lock first. So that is the point of resource locks. It adds that additional step before I can actually go in and delete or maybe modify at the control plane level. Again, it's not impacting the data plane, the actual data running within the resource.